Do you know how you can work with Power App using SharePoint list? Hi, this is Krupali from Know How Academy. So let's start with me. So let me tell you what we are going to see in this video. Now I have created a demo application for you. This application will load the data from SharePoint list. Now what is SharePoint list? How to make a list? I am going to tell you in that. Okay, so this is the author name. So let's say Sashi and Dara. These are the two authors are there. Now if, if I select the Sashi, it will display the data or it will display the book which is written by that author. When I click on the second author, it will display the book which is written by the second author. So what I have used for that. So that data, book data and author data is coming from this two list which I have already made. So this is the list of author and this is the list of book. Okay, so we are going to develop today this type of application. So first of all, let me tell you what is SharePoint list. SharePoint list is a kind of database where you can store the information in a form of row and column just like a table structure. If you know about the database of SQL, if you know about the Dataverse, you know data is stored in tabular format, just different columns and row are there. So SharePoint list is the same thing. So let me tell you how you can create a SharePoint list. For that, first of all, uh, we need to create a SharePoint list separately or if your Power App screen is open, still you can create a SharePoint list. So here you can go to the SharePoint here, the SharePoint list. My SharePoint uh, is already open. I have already opened the list, but don't worry. I will tell you from the beginning that how you can create your SharePoint list. Okay, so let me close this. So when you open the SharePoint list, you will able to see this. This is the home page of the SharePoint list where you will able to see the different teams uh, which is available. But we are not going in that much detail, the SharePoint environment. So we directly focus uh, that how to make a list on that. So here on the plus sign, you need to click on create and at the last list is there. Okay, so you need to create on list. So directly it will pop up the screen that you want to create a blank list. You want to create a list from existing, from Excel, from CSV. So since we, you are creating list for the first time, so you need to select the blank list. You can create a list from this three also. But here in this video, I will tell you how to create a list from the blank list. Okay, so you need to click on the blank. So first of all, you need to give a name to the list. Now, as I show you in the demo, we need to display the author name as well as the book information which is written by that author. So we are going to make two lists. First, we'll maintain the data of the author and second list, which will maintain the data of the book, which is written by the author. Okay, so first of all, we will create a name, uh, sorry we will create a list with the name author author list okay you can give any name so i'm giving the list name that is author list you can write a description you can select the color and whatever so it's for your choice and you can select the uh, icon also and where you want to save you want to save my list so in whichever team you want to save you can uh, select it but by default your list will be saved in under the my list and let me click on create. So once you click on create, this screen will appear and here you can see the uh, where this list is. So this list is under the my list and what is the name of the list? This is the name of the list. Now when you create a list by default, one column will be there that is the title and its data type is text. Now you can change, you can rename that column and whatever. Okay, so since we are going to create an author table, so or you can say author list, so we are going to maintain three things for that. First, that is author ID. Second one, that is author name. And the third one is the contact number of the author. So instead of title, uh, let me just rename the column to author ID. Author ID okay and click on the save and then i want to add another column so you can click on the plus sign to add a column then it will ask which type of information that you want to store in that column so since i'm going to store the author name so text information i need to select it and then click on the next 
uh, here it will de uh, ask for uh, what is what what is the column name that you want to make uh, you want to write so here author name author sorry author name then you need to write a description single line of text you can change it here and default value let's say if you do not write any name so that it will return okay and you can click on the more option what is the maximum number of character you can store it if this will this require uh, enforce unique value that means author id cannot be sorry author name let's say if you want that author name can uh, not be a duplicate so you need to select that but uh, as you know in real life uh, author name can be same so i'm not selecting that and click on save so my second column is created and the third column i want to create is that is a number sorry contact number so for contact number i want to store plus nine one that is a plus sign and country code and then so i am selecting the text okay and click on the plus sign and here i am writing contact number contact number and then a single line of text as i said default value i don't want to put anything and click on save okay and here the author name is save okay now next thing is that i need to add item in the sharepoint list so click on the add new item and here uh, you can add the data into the author uh, table so let's say author id 1 i want to put and then let's say author name let's say krupali and contact number let's say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 i am entering and click on save you can add the data using click on add new item the second way is that add it in grid view so you will get that item so you need to click on that add new item so here you will get a chance to add that and let's say here uh, you want to add the author name let's say nidhi and let's say dummy contact number i am entering okay and let's say second third item i want to edit third author name uh, i want to edit that let's say okay and the contact number let's say i want to edit as a okay so this, uh, this way you can add the author data into the list. Now we have done with creating an author list and adding the data into the author list. Now the second thing I want to create a second list which will store the information of book which is written by the particular author. So how can I create that? So just go to that uh, close this window again you need to go to that uh, plus sign and go to the list and here you can uh, let's say if you are not able to see that you here you can see the new list and you can see that he, whatever list you have created recently here you can see that okay and this is the icon and this is the uh, color which we have selected at the time of creating a list so i have created a author list uh, let's create a new list called book list okay so i want to create a book list okay book list and this time i want to select this red color and let's say any any icon you can select and click on create okay so i have created the book list uh, and let's say here instead of the title i want to change the book id okay so this is book underscore id let's click on save then let's say if i want to add the new column book name okay so select that and write a book name book name and keep the data type as it is and this time i'm making as a uh, require this require that the contain column contain value so if you do not enter anything it will generate an error or it will notify you okay book name then i want to uh, add the price of the book okay so let's say price can be in a number but let's say if i'm selecting a text and let's say here price and if you select that you can change it from here also okay so instead of num uh, instead of text i'm selecting a number and then automatic decimal place one decimal place two decimal place but it will add automatic decimal place and let me click on save okay now this three thing i have added but let's say this book uh, this book is of which author if you want to select that so for that you need to add a column and that column data type should be lookup okay so how you can do that so 
So click on that and this time you need to select the lookup and click on next. Now uh, let's say here uh, we have created on already author and in that table author ID is a column name. Okay, so I'm giving the same name author ID ID and you can select the lookup I have already selected now in which from which list you want to give a reference to that so I have already created author list and which column you want to refer it so let's say here the column which I have given is that is author ID okay if you don't remember uh, let me click that go back to SharePoint list go to the list and check it out which column I have given to that okay so let me go to the author list and this is the author id and let's say here uh, like click on click on this and go to the column setting and rename this column okay this is the author id okay i have given now go to the book list i need to refresh the book list and go to the add column and look up okay now here again author id i am giving lookup i am selecting and author list i am selecting and this time see here still this is not appear why here this column will be the default column name here you will display so let's say here author name we have created contact number we have created and id is there but you know we have a title column initially and we rename that title column to the author id so this name why we it is not displaying because title is a default name of that column and which is by default created so this time you need to select the title and automatically it will appear now click on the more information and let's say here you want to select the id add additional column if you want to make it as a source you can select that now the next thing is let's say uh, enforce unique value and as you said that we cannot do the enforce unique value the reason is that one author may return multiple books so we cannot add it then uh, allow multiple selection you can add do that and deletion from source list affect this list now let's say if you delete data from the author table and that reference book is there so you need to click on no so if you try to delete something from the author list you cannot directly delete from the book list if you just select the uh, no then uh, automatically the data will be deleted so it is advisable to click on yes and delete the source items delete values in this list that means first it will delete from the uh, book list and then it will delete from that so that can that is called a cascade delete okay and click on save okay so we have done this now let me add the item in that so let's say book id 1 i'm not adding like this like directly i'm adding item into the grid 1 so this is book 1 and this field is a required now see before that it is not displaying why the reason is at that time we have given the book name so let's say uh, book name is story story of ram we have given and the price of that book is let's say 100 and let's say author id now one two three id will display why because we gave the reference of that column so i'm selecting the one that author written that book now the next book i am going to write uh, giving it that is book id b2 and this is uh, the book name is story of krishna okay sorry krishna and the price of the book is let's say 150 and who have written uh, book author uh, second that is the second author have written whose id is second now let me add the third item b3 and let's say this is the story for story for child and let's say here the price of that is 200 and the first author the id of the author one is written that so this way you can add the data now since we have given the lookup column so we when when we click on that okay or when you just click a tab key and when you try to write automatically it will give the this uh, it will see uh, you can see the data in the drop down list okay 
so let me just select again and let me write it give me a second okay and then write one not here sorry let me just and go to that and one automatically you will able to see that okay so this way you can enter data in the list and you can give the reference of the list now the next thing is that we need to create a power app that will get the data from that that will get the data from the uh, sharepoint list and display the information so let uh, go to the power app go to go back i am creating app from the beginning okay so here let me create a blank app you can select that also okay so i am creating a blank app and i am giving a sharepoint sharepoint list show okay and let me click on create okay now let me just design a screen quickly I am taking the gallery control for displaying the author as well as book information. Now, the next thing is how we can add SharePoint list into that. So you need to go to the data, click on add data and write here SharePoint. So when you once you click that don't select the sharepoint site why because we need to select the sharepoint list so select that sharepoint list click on that okay now here enter the sharepoint url for the location of your list now let's say from here you are not able to find a list which you have created so what you need to do you need to click on the sharepoint any one of the list and click on this link and copy this link and paste it into the power app okay and click on connect so under that list whatever the list you have created you will able to see that okay so we have created two list that is author list and book list i have already created other author list and book list just to show you the demo but right now i have created this two list so this two list are required and you need to click on connect once you click on connect automatically all the list sorry automatically the selected list will be added here okay you can check that you can just edit data from here so automatically this will open okay so here we have already added the information and we don't want to update any information from that list so let me go to that and here i need to display the data of author so let me just make it little bit bold and let it be like this okay it just let me adjust the high size okay and here the arrow is not required so let me delete that okay now here you need to select first the author list by default number is displaying so title is displaying i i want to display the author name okay now here in this gallery control uh, let me just make it little bit bold okay now in this gallery control whatever author name is selected that author information that we can say that author book information i want to display now let's say if i directly select the book list all the book list will be display but i don't want that i want or uh, let's say if i select the krupali so only the book which is written by the krupali that should display so krupali id is 1 niti id is 2 and the third one is a uh, third one mihir id is 3 so let me display uh, the data let's say uh, niti written two book that is story of krishna and story of child and krupali uh, written only one book krupali uh, wrote only one book and niti wrote two books okay so for that uh, what we need to do go to the power app and here in this gallery item property what you need to display you need to display the a uh, condition if nothing is selected all book will be display and if something is selected depending on that we need to select that 
so let's write a code on that okay so click on that go to the items expand this little bit and just let me just drag it to more and here what we need to do we need to first check whether something is selected from the gallery author or not okay so we can check it out like this if then we need to write a condition in curly bracket is blank blank will check whether something is selected or not if it is something is selected then it will return false otherwise it will return true now what i need to check i need to check gallery author dot selected if it is true then what we should this uh, display sorry if it is false we can say if it is blank so nothing is blank so i want to display uh, the uh, let's say i want to display the book list okay so if blank nothing is selected then i want to display the book then what i want to display otherwise if something is selected then i want to display the respective book information based on that selection of the gallery so for that we need to use a filter function so we have already created a video that how filter function work so you can check out on that link and then it is advisable to see this video okay so basically filter is a function which will filter data based on some given condition so you need to write a filter then what you need to write here i want to filter data from the book list so data source list the, that is book list you need to write it then what you need to write based on what condition you want to filter so i want to filter whatever author gallery is selected and what selected that is a title actually we have given the name of the id also and by default name is uh, title so you can write like this also equal to then what is the column name of the book list so here the book list column that is reference column is author id so here you need to write you need to write equal to sign and author id dot selected value and complete the bracket so let me just save and show you now let's say if i uh, select this so based on that let me just run and let me select the nidhi so nidhi has written a two book and you can display the information you can see that information let's say if i'm selecting a groupal so uh, she has uh, written only one book so only one information is displayed and if i select the third person nothing will be displayed why the reason is that person uh, did not uh, write any book yet so this way you can display data in that now you may have a question why this warning sign is there so if you click on this and go to the edit formula you can read you can put your cursor here incompatible type comparison that that cannot be uh, compared that number and text okay now let's say if i write here the title now let's see what happened okay now the error will go and let me just run it and select that okay so this work perfectly the reason is that because title is the default column name and we change it to id so if you write the default column name the uh, warning it was not error let me tell you if it is in a yellow color that is a sign of warning so if you write like this it will display correctly so i hope you understand how to fetch the data from the list and how you can make your own list in sharepoint thank you for choosing noha academy as your source of it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate to the tech world if you have any question don't hesitate to reach out to us it has been a pleasure to share this information with you stay curious and keep learning